We start with police looking for several people responsible for a mass shooting in Sacramento over the weekend. Six people were killed, a dozen more hurt when the bars there let out early Sunday morning. NBC News correspondent Guad Venegas is in Sacramento for us. Uh, so, Guad, what do police know right now, and what can you tell us about the shooters they're looking for today? Have they arrested anybody yet? Uh, Allison, they just released new information. Uh, they've made one arrest, one suspect, 26-year-old uh, Dondre Martin, uh, was arrested. He's being charged for assault and possession of a firearm, illegal firearm. Uh, that information uh, just came in minutes ago. Uh, we know this investigation had been going on. They had been asking the public uh, for some help. Now, uh, this new information that was just obtained uh, says that they also executed three different uh, warrants in different residences. Uh, they've recovered uh, a weapon. Uh, we knew that they had recovered a stolen handgun uh, at the scene. That's something we had found out yesterday. Um, they're also uh, uh, moving forward, um, <clears throat> identifying more of the suspects. Now, uh, we've also been hearing a lot about the security cameras that are in this area. A lot of these businesses had security footage that could have been used uh, for the investigators. So for now, we know that one suspect uh, has been arrested. Uh, we also knew that there were multiple shooters at the scene. And the police chief has also told NBC News that at least two different types of uh, guns or weapons were used uh, during the mass shooting, Allison. Quad, uh, tell us about the victims. What do you know about them? Right. So uh, today they've also released the names of the six people that lost their life uh, during uh, this mass shooting. Uh, we know that 12 others were taken to hospitals, but today the, the six that lost their life were identified, three women, uh, three men. Uh, we met Pamela Harris. Uh, she's the mother of Sergio Harris, uh, who died uh, outside uh, one of these uh, businesses that night. Uh, she spoke to us and told us how she felt uh, when she heard the news that her son had been shot and killed. He was a good person. He um, was always there to help others, you know. And I don't want his death to go down as, oh, did he do something wrong? He was doing like anybody else was doing, trying to get the heck out the way. It just so happened he got struck by the bullet. Now, Pamela uh, went as far as calling this a massacre. We know from the videos that were uploaded to social media uh, that showed what appeared to be a fight before the shooting, we know that the gunfire went on for more than 40 seconds, continuous gunfire. When we arrived yesterday, we actually saw the casings, the bullet casings all across the street. Uh, police have now informed that they've recovered over 100 shell casings from this area uh, as they move forward with this investigation. Well, at Sacramento police are thanking the public for their help with their investigation. Uh, what are they saying? Uh, how did average folks play a role here? Right. So what we know, as you mentioned, this happened when a lot of these bars were closing. So people were leaving. These streets were crowded. Um, that's why there was a, a, these large crowds at the moment that this happened. Right. Uh, so because of that, police uh, had asked for the public's help. There was a lot of videos and photos that were taken the moment this all happened. So they asked any witnesses to submit them. Uh, today, they are thanking the public, saying they received over 100 photos and videos that helped them with the investigation as they made the announcement that they arrested this 26-year-old suspect. Juan Venegas in Sacramento. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.